Hi everyone. As you can see, I have a new couch. Ah! <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Oh my God, it's just so cute, so up my alley. I really feel it, it adds something. Let's get straight into it. The topic that I want to be sharing with you today is five tips of learning ocarina as a beginner. I have been learning ocarina for a little bit over a year now. So I still consider myself uh, a beginner. I don't think that you can really say you're good at ocarina after a year, uh, but I'm learning and I can definitely say that along the way, I have some things that uh, I felt were helpful uh, that I did and other things in hindsight that I would have maybe done differently. So I thought from a beginner to a beginner, I will give you five tips of how I will tackle learning ocarina at the start of my ocarina journey. My first point is create a good foundation from the start. So if I had the option to get an actual teacher, that is what I would have done. But uh, the, the truth about ocarina is there isn't actually a lot of resources out there. I was living in the Netherlands when I started and I was looking for teachers, but I couldn't really find anything that I felt like that's what I want to do. But luckily we have a lot of online resources now, so make sure to make use of them. I cannot say what is the golden teacher. I just went with uh, the person who I thought was the Ocarina Man of YouTube, which is pretty much David Eric Ramos. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I have been following his basic tutorials. I will link them below. And uh, I did everything really slowly at the beginning, following a tutorial to create good foundations. I'll give you one example. Some people think when you can play the recorder, you can play the ocarina as well. I think there's a slight truth in that, but I feel like ocarina is a lot more difficult because of the way you hold it. So when you go into the higher notes, for example, you let go completely, which creates a situation where the ocarina isn't so stable in your hands. So you need to find a way to stabilize the ocarina, right? So these kinds of things he teaches you from very early on, very slowly going through each note, when do I use my pinky to stabilize my ocarina, for example. So these are habits that you want to learn from the start. You don't want to miss uh, learning that habit. Because if you teach yourself bad habits, you actually have to take time to relearn a new habit again. So it is so much easier if you just learn the new habit from the start. So that's what I mean with create a good foundation. My second point is to learn music notation. I know there's a lot of sheets out there for ocarina. They look like this. And yeah, they're helpful. I've used them a little bit at the beginning because I was impatient and I just wanted to play. And I think it's okay to use them a little bit, especially for some very easy songs. But it is connected to my previous point. If you can, just learn music notations. And it sounds maybe daunting if you've never done it before. But again, you actually don't need those ocarina sheets. In fact, if you have a very easy piano sheet and it is in the range of the ocarina, you can totally play that song on the ocarina. And don't forget, you don't always have to play the notes exactly as on the sheet. You know, if you have to leave out a note or two to be able to put it in range, why not, right? So really, it's something I recommend. Just take some time to learn the music notations and that will save you a lot of trouble along the lines. Point number three, focus on the basics. Okay, so this is an important one. It's the same as when you're driving a car. Okay, if you have to focus on everything, your gears, the people that are in front of you, all the signage, and that you drive the, the perfect uh, speed, uh, look correctly, it's impossible. And that's also the reason why a good teacher is able to skim a few of those aspects and only lets you focus on one thing at a time. That's why we focus on theory separately before we go into the car, right? You cannot do everything at once. So what your focus should be at the beginning is to simply to be able to play the notes properly. Don't think about vibrato, that's the little trill that you hear when you play, or that you have to play it fast. Oh, no, no, no. That's something you shouldn't be worried about at the beginning. All you need to worry about is to hit the notes properly. And even the slower, the better. You know, the thing we often do when we play a song is like, we play do do do, oh, mistake, do do do, oh, mistake, oh, do 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 do, and we bump against the wall all the time. All you need 
to do is step back, take a deep breath and go do, 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 whatever the song is, go very slowly. Because when you do that, that's when you start to see them separately. And the thing is, when you go fast, you don't even see the separate elements. How can you play it if you don't see the separate elements, right? Your brain can process that. And then you can go fast and then you will see you will hit the notes. Believe me. <laughs> Do not focus on any of the fancy things. At the beginning, you're going to suck and you're going to take it slow. And just believe in your progress. Because it is there. Okay, tip number four is something in hindsight that I wish I did because I put myself in some situations where I was like, oh my god, you play the ocarina? <gasps> Can you please play something for me? Ah, crap, uh, yeah, yeah, practice. That is how yeah. I did last time. Yes. Uh, what should I play? What should I play? Uh, okay, I guess I just got a wing somehow. Oh, here we go. When you start learning the ocarina, this is definitely going to happen. It happened to me a few times, and every time I would say, okay, I need to prepare some songs. But then every time I would fall into the same mistake again, that I only knew how to play a few hard songs, kind of. And then don't forget, if you play for people, you tend to be more nervous. So all you have to do is just master one easy song. Someone asks you the question and you master that song completely. So when you play, you're not nervous and it's short and it's sweet and they might even know it because it's a very popular song. So my pick goes to Zelda's Lullaby. I think that's a perfect beginner song. It's easy, uh, it's catchy, people know it. And yeah, you cannot go wrong with Zelda's Lullaby. <laughs> Believe me, if you do that, you make your life a lot easier and you feel better about yourself as well because you could actually present something to someone. My last tip is to film yourself playing ocarina. Yes, I know, pretty daunting one, but I assure you, it's really good to do that. Not only to hear how you sound when you play the ocarina, but also aesthetically how you look when you play the ocarina. In my case, I realized through my friend filming me actually, that I blink a lot when I play the ocarina. It's a habit that I have, it's a reaction. My body just becomes like blinky blinky girl uh, when I start playing the ocarina. I still suffer from this habit. Um, but I'm learning to close my eyes a li little bit more to be subtle with it and being aware that I do it. And I only knew about it because my friend filmed me and now I'm on YouTube as well. So I'm filming myself and I see certain things that I do. Um, so I really recommend doing it. So you can improve your sound, but you can also improve your presentation skills, like how you actually look when you present doing the ocarina. So that was it. I know these were very simple tips. And now that I have a platform like YouTube to actually share my knowledge with other people, uh, it will make me really happy if it actually helps other people to learn the ocarina as well. Because this instrument has brought me so much joy. So um, if you pick up the ocarina right now, like good on you. I'm so happy that you're also getting into the world of ocarina. It's really fun. Ocarina has such a kind, gentle sound. It's loud, but it's gentle and sweet. So yes, I really wish you luck on your journey. And yeah, I hope we can all grow to become better ocarina players and enjoy the instrument. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips or if you have anything you want to share about ocarina, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you in my next video. See you next time. Bye.